Hi everyone and welcome to Tactical Manager TV. Today, after so many requests for more knowledge and knowing more about Johnny Cardoso, the intriguing young talent, the Brazilian American that plays for International in Brazil, we decided to make a video so you guys can learn more about him, more about his background, his playing style, techniques, stats, everything. And we will have highlights in this video from Johnny Cardoso from his youth level and a couple good pictures here. So thank you very much, Internacional and Sandro Cardoso, Johnny Cardoso's father, for providing us with this great content. Okay, so let's go to the episode right now. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and blah, blah, blah. You guys know the drill. Let's roll the episode. Okay, so I'm going to start the episode by talking about transfer rumors and if Johnny Cardoso could leave or not Internacional. And one of the transfer rumors we heard of was in late 2020, it was rumored that Olympique Marcel from the French League, League One, was interested in signing Cardoso. Besides that, there hasn't been anything else and that was just rumors. Apparently no offers have arrived so far. Me personally, I'd like to see Johnny Cardoso play at La Liga or Serie A, the Italian League. I think his technical ability fits more those leagues. Now let's go to his background, which is... What you guys probably want to hear about. Johnny Cardoso was born at Denville Township at New Jersey in the United States. At a very young age, he returned to his parents' homeland, which is Brazil. So yeah, we do have a similar path, but different in the same way. Yeah, so I was born in Brazil and I moved to the US. Cardoso was born in the US and moved to Brazil. From ages 7 to 11, Johnny Cardoso played futsal for Marco Sorato and Falcão Soccer School at Criciúma, Brazil. You see, futsal is something I've always been talking about in this channel, how it increases the technical ability of the player. And since Cardoso started off at futsal, that explains a lot why his technical ability is much higher than the average American player. At age 11, Johnny would go on to play his very first soccer tournament in an actual soccer field rather than futsal. It was a one-week tournament that he played for Havaí, a big Santa Catarina club in Brazil. Havaí would go on to win the tournament and Johnny would fall in love with playing at an actual soccer field. In the same tournament, he caught the attention of Criciúma, one of Havaí's rivals in Santa Catarina, where then he would go play for the Criciúma youth team for roughly a year after that tournament. After having major success at Criciúma, Internacional scouted him and brought him into their youth academy. Internacional is a Brazilian giant and they reached out to Johnny Cardoso in 2014 and had him join their youth academy where he would play up to 2019 until he got moved up to the senior squad. But we'll talk about the senior squad later in this video. Not right now. Back to youth. During his youth years at Internacional, he won several trophies such as five Gaúcho State Championships, being the last one in 2019 where Johnny Cardoso at the U20 tournament at age 17 captained the team and was the top scorer of the tournament where Internacional ended up being the champions, which is also likely one of the reasons why he got moved up at the senior squad. At age 17, being able to be the captain of the U20 team and top scorer of the tournament as a center midfielder, it's pretty impressive. Now let's go to his player bio and move on to the video we're going to talk about his senior level. João Lucas de Souza Cardoso, or just Johnny Cardoso. He was born at September 20th of 2001, so he's currently 19 years old. He's 1.85 meters tall, which is pretty tall for a soccer player. He's right-footed, plays for Internacional in Brazil. His position is as a central midfielder or a holding midfielder, a central defensive midfielder. He's American and Brazilian, and his market value is $990,000. That market value is not updated at transfer market. However, we do have to use that as a source. Johnny Cardoso is definitely worth much more than that, and I don't see Internacional selling him for less than... 10 million dollars at least so it'll be updated soon unfortunately it's not updated yet for this video so now let's talk about the senior squad of Internacional and so far Cardoso at the time of this recording has 17 games for Internacional and one assist most of the games are in the Brazilian Serie A but he also played a couple Copa Libertadores games it's also very important to point out that Internacional is not a team to give that many opportunities to young players they do have money to sign big names so it's very impressive that Johnny Cardoso is getting minutes and likely maybe even to start next season for Internacional as currently he's the backup of Rodrigo Dourado, but I do see him with more talent, to be honest. Cardoso is also one of the five U18 players to ever debut for Internacional with some impressive names in the list such as Alexandre Pato, Otavio that plays for Porto currently, and legendary Brazilian star from the 80s, Falcão. Now, I also want to say that at the time of this recording, which is before the last round of the Brazilian League, Johnny Cardoso could become the first American to win the Brazilian League if Internacional wins their match and Flamengo loses, all right? The game will be this Thursday at the time of the recording. So don't hold me accountable if he doesn't. We do hope he does, 
But even if he doesn't, it's very impressive. He's probably the first American to finish in second, too. It's very impressive that at a very young age, he's able to perform at such a high level already. Okay, now we're at the USMNT, the US Men's National Team. Now I'm gonna start talking about the USMNT U23. In October of 2019, Johnny Cardoso was called up by Jason Christ for the first time to the USMNT U23 squad, where he played one game. Johnny Cardoso, also at the time of the recording, is at the preliminary list for the Olympic qualifiers to be played at March 2021. If he's able to join that squad, he's likely going to be a starter as he has he is more of a USMNT senior squad material. So if Johnny Cardoso does play in the Olympic qualifiers and the Olympics, he's likely going to be a starter because he's more of a USMNT senior squad player. Now that I mentioned the USMNT senior squad, let's get to that. So for the USMNT senior squad, he has two caps played for them. And that was in the November camp in 2020. For the November camp in 2020, Johnny Cardoso played a total of 47 minutes coming in versus Wales and versus Panama. I do expect much more from him in the future as I do expect him to compete even for a starting spot eventually. Right now, he's definitely behind Tyler Adams and Weston McKinney, which would be the two players he'd be competing with. But I do think he's pretty much the first option off the bench, one of those if Yunus Musa doesn't start too. So I expect him to compete. Those two players are two to three years older than Johnny. So we'll see how Johnny Cardoso does in the next few years. And I do think he does have the technical ability to do so. Now let's go to the final section of the video where I'll tell you who I compare him to, what player he has a similar playing style to, and I'll rate his potential from one to five stars. All right, so who does he compare to? What retired player or current player does Johnny Cardoso have a similar playing style to? And I mean, in Brazil, I've been talking to sources and they've mentioned that they talk a lot about him being like Falcão, the Brazilian legend from the 80s. But that's not quite who I picture it and I honestly don't know Falcão that well to talk about it. I do see him a lot as Thiago Mota, the Brazilian Italian that played for the Italian national team. Johnny Cardoso is a very technical central midfielder that can also play as a deep line playmaker as a holding midfielder. He can distribute the game well, he's tall. So similar to what Thiago Mota was for most of his career, he also played for PSG. That's who I envision him being, and it's a different style of player from what we have in the USMNT. He's much different from Tyler Adams, he's much more technical than Tyler Adams, and I think more technical than Weston McKinney, more of a distributor, good passes, quality. Brazilian, essentially. Now, if I had to rate him, I'm actually going to rate him pretty high. I think he's, a, he's four stars out of five, in my opinion. I think he has the potential to start for the team. Potential to play for a top league in the world, hopefully the Serie A or La Liga, as I mentioned earlier in the video, and perhaps even start for a top team like Thiago Mota started for PSG. If he ever reaches that level, he'll be a fantastic player. Can he be world class one day? I don't know. Only time will tell. But he is quality. He's getting minutes for a top Brazilian team in the Brazilian league at a very young age. Comment down below your thoughts on Johnny Cardoso, guys. Um, I want to thank you all very much for watching. I want to thank once again Sandro Cardoso, Johnny Cardoso's dad, for helping us with all this content. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day.